the black woman causes a scene everywhere she goes. Like this morning, I was on the M train. She wanted to go where she wanted to go, and she accidentally got on the train, the wrong train, and then she cursed up a storm. I said, oh boy, here we go again. This is with the majority of black women. I got so tired of hearing her cursing up a storm. I had to, you know, get up, get up out of the um, train and go to the next car. You know what I mean? These black women, they curse like men. The majority of them act like this. Everywhere they go, black women have to make a scene everywhere they go, especially on the train. I had to get off the train and go to the next car. You know what I mean? I didn't want to hear all that cursing and crap like that. That's why nobody wants to be around black American women because the majority of them have that masculine energy and I cannot deal with the um, masculine energy. Many, many of them, like I say, act like men. I mean, I don't see how that brother put up with her mess. You know, she's cursing up a storm. People, everybody had to get up and go to the next car like I did. I got tired of hearing her mouth. Like I said before, and I say it again, they cause a scene everywhere they go. That's why black women are not wanted everywhere. You know what I mean? They're not wanted everywhere because the majority of them have that masculine energy and the majority of them act like men. That's why I don't want nothing to do with them. I keep my distance from the majority of them. You know what I mean? I don't say nothing to them. I don't got nothing nice to say to them. And when I don't have anything nice to say to them, I keep my distance. I keep my mouth closed and just go about my merry way and just simply ignore them like they don't exist. So that's all I wanted to say for today about black women cause a havoc everywhere they go. They cause a wreck. They cause havoc everywhere they go. They make a scene everywhere they go. That's all I have to say here. Have a great day.